Hearthstone is a constantly growing video game. Every year Hearthstone gets three new expansions with brand new cards, and after each expansion Blizzard will release a mini set with even more cards to round up the themes and archetypes. But did you know that this wasn't always the case? The first Hearthstone miniset was released after the expansion Madness at the Dark Moon Fair, but before that they didn't exist. This will be the first of possibly several episodes where I go back to older Hearthstone expansions and imagine what their minisets could have looked like. In this first episode, we'll go all the way back to Hearthstone's first expansion, Goblins vs Gnomes. I've made brand new cards for this project, but before we dive into those, I want to quickly set out the rules for this experiment. I'm going to treat each of these minisets as if they came out today. This means I've made cards for all of Hearthstone's current 11 classes, and they will feature keywords that are evergreen today, even if they didn't exist back then. Now, let's dive into the miniset for Goblins vs Gnomes, which I have named Operation Mechagon. Operation Mechagon will expand on the themes from Goblins vs Gnomes. For example, DVG had its custom keyword Spare Parts, which were one cost token spells that could be generated by other cards. These were not very powerful spells, and there weren't a lot of cards that generated or even synergized with them, so my first step will be to expand on the spare parts mechanic. I've looked at all the 7 spare parts and increased the power level of the ones I deemed the weakest. This meant increasing the bonus of whirling blades to plus 3 attack, and armor plating to plus 3 health. Rusty Hall will now also give Divine Shield, and Time Rewinder will also reduce the cost of the minion it returns by 2. Finally, Emergency Coolant will first silence a minion before it freezes it. The last two spare parts I figured were still good in certain situations, so they remain unchanged. In addition to the changes to the old spare parts, Operation Mechagon will also introduce three brand new spare parts, bringing the total number of spare parts up to 10. There's the Evolution Add-on, which will transform a friendly minion into a random one that costs two more. Then there's the Necrotech Core, which will give a minion reborn and poisonous. And finally there's Power Amplifier, which will give a minion rush and lifesteal. The idea is that Operation Mechagon would introduce new ways for each class to get their hands on spare parts. Many of the classes would also be able to generate spare parts through the use of their class mechanics. I've also made this card that is able to generate a lot of spare parts. Workshop is the first ever non-legendary neutral location. It costs 1 mana, has 2 durability and will generate 2 spare parts with each use. But if you're interested in even more spare parts, Rogue is getting one of the minisets 4 legendaries. King Gobamek. You come to steal treasures? This 6 mana 4-5 minion with Rush will give you all 10 spare parts upon death. That's a lot of ways to generate spare parts, but what might you use them for? Well, the Operation Mechagon mini set also introduces a couple payoffs to the spare part mechanic. The first is the new Scrap Giant. This 9 mana 8-8 eight eight neutral mech will cost one less for each one cost spell you cast this game. There's also the neutral legendary minion Head Machinist Spark Flux. I'll just take a little off the top! This 3 mana 1 4 minion has an aura effect that causes all of your 1 cost spells to also target adjacent minions, and when you play Spark Flux, he will discover a spare part to be used alongside this effect. Remember that all the spare parts are 1 mana spells that target minions in either a beneficial or harmful way. Aside from all the cards that center around spare parts, Operation Maker God would also introduce cards that interact with the other main mechanic of Goblins vs Gnomes. Mix. Every class would get cards that center around Mix. This includes classes that are well known for running Mix, like Paladin. But also classes that aren't well known for the usage of Mix, like Priest. I've even tried giving Mix support to Druid of all classes. Check out these cards. There's the spare part generating mech, Cyber Sage, and a couple spells to be used alongside it. First there's B3333s. This 3 mana spell will allow you to choose a minion and then summon 411 B33s that attack the minion. But if you chose a friendly mech, 
the B33s will magnetize to it instead. This means it will get up to plus 4 plus 4 stats, but only if you have the board space to summon the B33s in the first place. Finally, there's Reclaim by Nature. This 2 mana nature spell will destroy a mech and then summon 2 2 2 trans for the owner. This card can be used to either deal with enemy mechs or alongside one of your own smaller mechs to increase your board presence, perhaps one of your B33s. Speaking of mechs, Megagon is defended by a terrifying guard dog. Kujo is a legendary 4 mana 5 4 mech beast for Hunter. It has immune while attacking and will attack the first minion your opponent summons each turn. The very last card I want to show you is a neutral legendary minion, the ruler of Mechagon, King Mechagon himself. Complete protocol deletion! King Mechagon is a 5 mana 5-5 five, five mech that can be used to transform an enemy minion into a 2-1 clockwork gnome. But if the minion you target is already a mech, Mechagon will scrap it for spare parts instead. This means you'll get a number of spare parts equal to the minion's cost and the minion will be destroyed. Well, that's all I had for this episode. Give the video a like if you want to see me continue this series and subscribe to the channel for more custom Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.